boys uh new season for destiny just came out uh and well it's already broken the reveal trailer for witch queen and other stuff happened today while i was in class and so i had my phone in my book bag playing while i uh did a finance test and so that was interesting to watch it was like at 12 so it was kind of just in the middle of my day which sucked but i watched it and so I got what was I got what was needed out of it. So I figured I went through all the trouble to watch the stream. I might as well like talk about what's happening. And uh, yeah, so seasonal event that has just dropped, which is basically the override for this season, is broken. You can't do it, which uh, kind of annoys me because it seems like a pretty easy fix especially since it's just like the bar that's broken because sometimes it'll actually go up even if it is broken which tells me the fact that it's still broken eight hours after the season launched is kind of dumb especially when they know what's causing it um as you can see we now have infinite primary ammo that is a huge change which i kind of like but i noticed that chroma rush uh mine has substance on it i don't really seem to run out of ammo. Also, override. Since I was not here for the end of the last season, you can't do the last city uh, override mission, even though the quest says you can, which is kind of strange. So, override, the last part of the quest is broken right now. Or maybe that's how they intend it to be, but it's really weird. What I'm most interested in is the new weapons because we are actually getting a lot of stuff. And I'll start with the seasonal exotic and, uh, it's it's pretty cool it is called Lorenz driver and i think it like it i think it marks the target because i noticed enemies were glowing red when i had this on it's uh nice to have a special ammo linear fusion rifle that is an arbalist could be interesting because collecting three telemetry patterns without dying grants this weapon bonus damage and i believe the telemetry patterns are these little uh, floating things that you pick up when you get a kill with the weapon so it could be actually interesting boss keeps i'm not entirely sure yet though so we're gonna have to we'll be seeing though and i'm sure i'm sure it could be because arbalist is pretty decent deeps on its own and so this weapon could actually be pretty banging we have a ton of weapons and stuff the seasonal artifacts really cool wayfinders compass i think it's it's pretty interesting but uh, we got a ton of new weapons and a new armor set, a lot of new stasis legendary weapons, and among other things. A uh, new title, uh, two new titles actually, Realm Walker and Deadeye. Uh, Deadeye is literally just like the, pretty much like the base game title I guess now that you can get, anyone can get it. Uh, that's kind of interesting. And as I'm talking, I'll just be like showing all the different weapons in the background. They are bringing back Trials of the Nine weapons, and it seems that they've added a weapon that is like familiar to uh, Riswalker, but it is not Riswalker. Anyway, so all the new content this season, I'm guessing, will grow up week by week, and so we will be seeing what we're getting as the weeks progress. But it seems pretty interesting. We are going around finding uh, Awoken people i think i think that's the premise kind of it's something similar to that um go and watch the cutscene for yourself it's uh it, it's interesting to say the least but what i'm more interested in is what they've talked about for the 30th anniversary because it kind of frightens me so we're getting a couple new dungeons which i like it's cool new content it's not just the same old content what I don't like is that they said to bring back Galhorn. As much as I like Galhorn, I think it's really dumb of them to bring back a weapon that's... I mean, everyone loves it, but I feel like they should have let it rest in Destiny 1, especially since they kind of said they weren't going to bring Galhorn back. They're just going back on their promise, and uh, it's just like with Vogue. I think they're reusing content, and it's really not being creative. It's kind of just making people pay for the same thing i mean because you have to pay to get um galhorn so i think that's pretty dumb 
and I think that they should have just made like a new Galhorn. I think they should just release a weapon that's like could have the same fame as Galhorn, but just isn't Galhorn. I think that'd be a lot more interesting to people than just re-releasing it. Um, Witch Queen. Um, the reveal trailer, if you have not watched it, I recommend going and watching it right now and stopping this video. But if you don't feel like going and watching it, we are getting... Sabathun is going to be giving us ooh, Hive Guardians. So the Hive now of Ghosts. So that's, that's, that's frightening. Um, essentially, I'm going to expect that the next uh, raid boss is going to be dropping wells and or using nova bomb against us and uh chaos reaching us so there is a good chance that the uh that zavala is now a raid boss to the hive so uh that that's pretty freaky that the big blue smurf might be a raid boss to the hive so that that's kind of whack maybe maybe it'll work out so that we can like pick the hive or something in a future update to play or something like that i don't know but, um, so yeah, that's happening. Uh, they didn't say anything about a new subclass. A lot of people think it's still likely, but we'll see if they're going to announce something like that. It'll probably be halfway through the season because that's kind of what happened for Beyond Light. But at the same time, they kind of announced that like oh, way, ways back the update we kind of knew stasis was going to be a thing so i think we'd have more leaks and hints by now than what we've seen if we were going to get a new subclass but that's just my opinion it doesn't seem like we have enough evidence to go off yet hopefully we do get something and hopefully the raid that comes with witch queen will also be interesting because that is all i play this game for now anyways just a little quick update and uh yeah, I think that's about all that there is to go over, so, cool. Also, um, hopefully, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can or not, but I've been kind of streaming on and off on Twitch. It's been a fat minute since I streamed, but hopefully I can get back into that during the school year. So I might be able to remind myself to play 